So we've been doing a lot of um, preparation type of work in Rhino to organize um, all the objects according to uh, the ultimate textures and materials they're going to have. We assign uh, unique materials to these different layers, although we really did not set all the settings for these materials because we'll be doing that in Lumia. It's a lot faster and um, the result will, will be a lot better when we do in Lumia. So um, in order to be able to use the Lumia Live Sync, um, I hope you've all downloaded um, Live Sync and installed Live Sync. If you did do all of that, you should see um, this Lumia tab right here on top. And we also learned how to prep Lumion to make sure that it works with your computer specs. Um, you might want to consider lower the resolution or editing quality levels so that um, Lumion will run faster for you. So before we can sync the two programs, uh, we want to make sure that we open a new project within Lumion. So um, there's some presets that we can select. Uh, typically, I will try to avoid all these presets with lawn and trees because um, they're going to make your file a lot slower if you don't have a fast computer. Um, so I will just uh, choose this empty one um, and uh, we can always add the sky later. So let's just choose an empty preset right now. All right, so now we're ready to go. Let's go to Lumion within Rhino. If we click on that tab, and um, the first option is to start live sync. So when we start playing that, we'll see our model showing up um, in Lumion. And it's also the same uh, angle of view that we're seeing in Rhino. So we did um, intentionally set up some views here within Rhino. For example, the eye level view that we set up, you can see how um, we can see a correspondence between the two. Same with the other above eye level view that we set up. But the materials from Rhino, um, they do not look you know, completely finished. Um, so we'll have to tweak those settings um, for the specific materials to make them look more realistic. But now uh, for working purposes, we'll just go back to uh, perspective. We'll be using those two save views later when we're ready to render the steel views. So um, you can see how as we are orbiting within Rhino, we can see uh, the same action going on within Lumia. So let's just kind of find a good 3D perspective view um, right now in order to work with the different materials. So what we want to do is to uh, click on this bucket right here. And then to zoom in faster, you might want to hold the uh, up arrow key down and then push your wheel forward on your mouse uh, within Lumia. And then uh, when, when we click on this bucket right here, it's asking us to click on an importer model to modify its material. So if we click on this model, if you hover over, you'll, you'll see how it highlights the different layers that you set up uh, within Rhino. So for example, we would like to um, be able to tweak the water a little bit. So if we click on the water, uh, it's gonna trigger kind of uh, this material library and uh, there's a section called water. So if we click on water right there uh, and click on various and click on water over here, you'll see how there's a lot more options for us to choose from. So it's, it's a swimming pool. We could choose this 
uh, particular pool up here or clear pool. Um, so I encourage you to kind of play around with them and see which one you like. And then we can adjust the wave height, um, the glossiness, the wave scale, reflectivity, and so on. So I encourage you to kind of play around with that. And then you can also save uh, the setting that you have been playing around with as a material. So you could say this is your swimming pool. So that you don't have to tweak the settings again. And then once you're done uh, tweaking the materials, you want to exit the library and, and then um, click on this check mark to save changes. There's also um, other ways of changing the landscape. And then we'll click on this landscape button here. You can see how uh, we can play around with water as well. And ocean, in this case, if we turn on the ocean, you'll see how it kind of shows ocean everywhere uh, for the background. So this is the overall landscape setting. So let's just say this is kind of a swimming pool located on a beach, like the one in Sydney, Australia. Perhaps, you know, as sea level rises, um, the swimming pool will be permanently inundated like this. So this is kind of a great way of simulating um, the effects of sea level rise if you want to help people visualize that. And then ultimately, it's also possible to make a movie. So if you want to show how the sea level rises incrementally, um, you know, this is a great tool for that. So, but for our purpose, uh, we will not be using a dramatic uh, ocean effect, basically. So, um, let's just check out more material editing. So, if we click on material editor and then click on this um, glass, kind of glossy, uh, transparent look, that we want to play with. Um, I want to uh, introduce you to a material called polycarbonate panel. Um, there's a company called 3Form that fabricates them and they use different molds to create them into these organic shapes. So um, let's just click on the advanced glass tool here. And then um, we can choose the color um, you know, we can kind of play around with the color to, to make it more artistic and playful. And then um, we can also go back and, and make it not as transparent, not as glossy, a little bit more frost, um, frosty. And then maybe a little bit more internal reflection. And then when, when you like it, you can just um, save it as material. I already like, kind of had a few that I like set up. Um, so carbonate panel three, and then say save. All right, so then again, we want to click on this check mark to save the changes of the material assignments. Um, and then for grasses too, we can click on uh, various and then navigate to 2D grass. For those of you with slow computers, you might want to just stick with the 2D grass. Um, if you have a faster computer, you can try the 3D grass or other uh, ground covers with leaves. So let's just uh, see if we can use this particular one over here. So, um, and then we'll just click on the check mark to save the changes and then you might want to find a different kind of look um, for the other ones that are going to look taller, not as low. Um, you know, you can determine the grass size to make it more grainy, the, the length of the grass, um, and then the roughness of the grass, how much is going to be cut, um, and so on. And then when you like it, you can even tweak the color. Maybe you want it to be a, a lighter tone. Uh, right now it looks lighter. 
um, and then click on this track mark to save it. So now we kind of, you know, uh, just play around with different material assignments until we like it. And then we can save um, the setting by clicking on this icon right here, files, and then um, save it as, and then let's just save it uh, as homework six. Maybe your name. And then say save. All right, so I encourage you to play around with the different material um, editing settings and then save those settings as a separate material with a name um, so you do not lose all your hard work. And then once you're done with all your settings, we'll show you how to render those views. All right, I'll see you in the next video.